Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a good one to leave on. Um, <laughs> I'm listening. No, no, you're good. I, I wish I could leave on this one, too. Um, sorry, let me start it back over. A Dutch volleyball player who was jailed for raping a 12-year-old British girl qualifies for the Paris Olympics. Uh, Steven Van de Velde uh, was sentenced uh, March 2016 to four years in prison after admitting to three counts of rape against a child he met on Facebook. Um, and it has been recently uh, you know, released since then, so the soul. Um, I know you got more details on the story. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, no, no, we definitely don't. Not the kind of article that we were, you know, kind of topic we really want to do, but um, it's definitely worthwhile. Yeah, and this is something too that there's a lot of minors like Kesley uh, that are going to be competing in the Olympics. So the fact that they're allowing this to happen kind of boggles my mind. But Anywho, uh, Judge Francis uh, Sheridan, who was the one who uh, convicted him, uh, said, prior to coming to this country, you were training as a potential Olympian. Your hopes of representing your country now lie as a shattered dream. However, Vandeveld, who was released after serving only 12 months in a Dutch prison, has since been permitted to rehabilitate his Olympic career. This month, he secured his spot in the National Pair for Paris Games alongside Matthew Immers, uh, upon his release in 2017, having served only a quarter of his sentence, Vandeveld, who has cried in court upon learning about the girl's subsequent self-harm and overdose, stated, I want to correct all the nonsense that has been written about me while I was in prison. I deliberately didn't read any of it, but I understand it was quite severe, branding me as a sex monster, as a pedophile. That I am not, really not. Everyone is entitled to their opinion about me, but it's only fair if they also hear my side of the story. These remarks elicited a scathing response from the National Society of the Prevention of Cruelty to Children, which stated Vandeveld's lack of remorse and self-pity is astonishing, and we can only imagine how distressed his victim must feel upon seeing his comments. Grooming can leave a child feeling ashamed or even guilty because they believe they have somehow willingly participated when in reality an adult has preyed upon them for sexual exploitation. The Dutch Olympic Committee has defended its choice in selecting a convicted rapist for its volleyball team, insisting that the player has shown self-insight and reflection and that he has been competing in tournaments again under intense professional supervision. But yeah, this is absolute bullshit. And the fact that like we talked about Shikari Richardson not being able to go to Tokyo because of weed, but then this guy's able to go to Paris, even though he's a convicted rapist. Yeah, It's the well, same thing with... Sorry, go ahead, Tushka. Oh, yeah. I, I, yeah, I was just going to say, I, I mean, probably because he's insanely good. I mean, apparently he's good enough to qualify for the Dutch or the Dutch just suck at that area. But, um, yeah. Yeah, definitely uh, not not great. Uh, yeah, and like you said, I mean, especially when other people have uh, been disqualified for less. Um, you know, I, I don't know if that the burden of responsibility would fall on the Olympic organizers or if it's actually on the individual country. Um, I mean, first and foremost, it's the country because they're choosing that person to represent. But um, yeah, Josh, sorry, I love what you guys, bud. So just to kind of go with what we talked about, just to kind of piggyback on it. So this kind of reminds me of bringing up the NFL the league that me and Tushka hold dear, dear to our hearts. And then, uh, so when the dolphins are good. Um, so here's the thing. We've had so many sexual assaults that's happened in the NFL and they get four game suspensions, three game suspensions. But if you bet on the sport, you're out for the whole year. Okay. Um, so Calvin Ridley bet, bet on, bet on football. He was suspended for the whole entire year. A guy gets into a domestic dispute and beats up his girlfriend for game suspension. So unfortunately, when it comes to sports, the crime doesn't meet the punishment. Unfortunately. Why this guy isn't still in jail, I'm not Dutch. I'm, I'm not from the Netherlands. I don't understand. Two, typically... To travel to another country, if you've been committed or you've been a, a pled, if you're guilty of a certain crime, you cannot travel to that country. So I'm also want to know what France's laws are that's permitting him to go there. On top of it, so this is a little bit of a layered, disgusting situation, horrific situation. And like you said, and like I said before, what Tushka was saying, people are 
if you're good enough, they don't care if you commit murder. Okay, it's unfortunate, but some people just care so much about their sports and stuff like that. I don't care that much. Uh, but when it comes to it, you know, I do have morals, uh, despite some people's things. But that you get on, but that's basically it is, is that there's a lot of layers of like, how did the, how is he not in jail? How did the Netherlands still say, okay, you're fine? And how the Olympic Committee was like, fine, I guess we look, we, it's like the Air Bud thing. Like, didn't say a dog couldn't play basketball. Like, there's some, how did you not miss, hey, if you get, if you get a, a if you're play, if you're guilty of rape, you can't, you can't play. Uh, and then on top of it, what is France's laws on commi on committed fel uh, convicted felons? Because I know a lot of times, especially just going with the WWE, there's some people that they've, they can't go to certain countries because they had a DUI much less get convicted of rape. Yeah, right now they, uh, in the U.S., I mean, registered sex offenders are allowed to travel. Um, you know, I mean, they, the mistakes, whether they learn from them or not, you know, stay with them their whole life. I mean, so they do have to live and kind of make a living. But at the same time, I mean, so I, I think you, you hit the right on the head as far as the biggest issue is that there are minors there. Like it's not like mm -hmm. the NFL where they can just escort them through a locker room and they don't they don't have any encounter with anybody under 20 years old. Um, you know this is something where they're going to be in the same arena, the same uh, defect as far as dining facilities and um, amongst each other. So yeah, I mean, what are they going to do for the security of other people? Um, you know, regardless of how they, you know how well. Um, behaved or rehabilitated he may be at this moment but um so what are, what are some of your your final thoughts on this one yeah it's just really upsetting and josh brought up the nfl and it was really it's really upsetting in the nfl as well um that these kind of situations don't get have bigger crime like bigger punishments mm -hmm. because to me, it's just one of those that, and we talked about like grace and forgiveness, like with like Corbin Albert before, but that's for like posting stuff on social Liking media. Liking and retweeting, not even physically saying yes. some, right. some things. This dude committed a, yeah. I get and, <laughs> and not only did, and it's not like alleged, he went to jail for it. He was a convicted right. felon. So this isn't even one of those where like, oh, he he allegedly did this, but it hasn't been brought up in a court of law. So we like you can play a gray area there like, oh, well, it's not convicted. This guy's convicted. So the fact that his federation decided to go with him and that the uh Olympics have been banned him for this. I, it just it it boggles my mind. Yeah. Sports organizations, for some reason, do like I said before, doesn't hit the crime fits the punishment. Yeah, it's money. Mm -hmm. I mean, who who knows who knows who's if wet the and what? Players that good, they'll, they'll make uh, con not concessions. Um, th that's food. That's carnival food. Um, you know, they'll they'll make allowances or bend the rules for that individual. They'll you know, compromise. Like, like you said, find some kind of loophole. Like, oh, you didn't say your dog couldn't play basketball. You know, um, <laughs> but yeah, I love that line. It's it's sickening. Um, I'm I know I'm kind of sick to my stomach with this because yeah, um, it, it's it's never a fun topic, and you know yeah. we'd like to have fun here, but at the same time we've we've got to talk about it. I mean, it's it's definitely something that needs to have some light shown on that. I mean, even you know how small we are. Um, you know, at least, you know, people talking about it and people hearing about it. So for you all in the chats, let us know definitely down below. Um, you know, if you have more information as far as exactly what does that look like? Why? Uh, looking at you, Daniel Haygood, our regional <laughs> legal expert. Let us know uh, how can pedophiles travel uh, asking for a friend. Uh, no, no, no. OK, <laughs> yeah, let me let me let me preference by saying that you can't travel to other countries their country's laws say that if you're if you've been convicted of a certain crime you can't even travel to that country it's not well yeah. you ask looking can, at they can you can travel international okay now i'm yeah, saying like from, the, country, from the u.s but right yeah, you can travel from the u.s is but can the will the country allow you there that's, yeah, that's apparently paris will yeah, that's what i'm saying so it's happen. yeah u.s you can travel all you know if you're convicted of blah, 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 you can travel wherever um on certain laws but 
it's, it's will the country allow you? Because I know there's a couple of WWE wrestlers that they couldn't travel to Canada because they have a DUI, and Canada would not let them in the country. Yeah, that that that's the weird one. I wonder if that's a license issue. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I mean, they, you can still get a state issued or you know a passport uh, and not be able to drive. Um, so yeah, so then it, I mean, for that to be a passport issue or something, I don't know. That's that's so. odd. But just the uh, the imbalance of the you know um, not scales and measures, but just the imbalance in the system. I mean, we're, we're super harsh on one thing um, that is petty as shit, as like weed. And mm-hmm. then for the things that are like serious um, crimes against hu- other huma- humanity, basically, but crimes against other humans, mm-hmm. um, you know, that are very alarming as far as, uh, you know, telling that kind of person's character or tendencies and, uh, and lack of control or consideration of other people. I mean, that's that's far worse than getting high or, you know, uh, I mean, drunk driving is not great. But I mean, when compared to that. So anyways, yeah. I, I feel gross. Um, La- Lady Justice they... took her blindfold off and was like, really? And that's all the Olympic news. Uh, I do apologize that t- two of them were a little bit of a downer, but we had some fun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, got to find the silver lining in it, folks. Um, you know, but definitely, I mean, we. You've you've got to have those conversations. So mm-hmm. you know, read, read the articles for yourself, and you know, look up the evidence and such. But um, let's just uh, help everybody be a little bit better, even if it's by awareness. 